In this video, we are going to react to the infamous sales movie, Glen Gary, Glen Ross. I'm Liz J. Simpson, founder of the Big Money Movement, accompanied by Heather Petherick. Heather, you ready? I'm so ready. <laughs> Let's see what this train wreck looks like. Rich get richer, that's the law of the land. Rich get richer. Oh, bunch of white dudes in an office. Old school sales, I remember this little board here. And where's Mr. Roman? Well, I'm not a leash, so I don't know, do I? Ooh. Let me have your attention for a moment. Look, slick hair, slick shoes. I'm not smoking cigarettes in the mm -hmm. office. About that sale you shot, some son of a bitch don't want to buy land, somebody don't want what you're selling, some broad you're trying to screw, so forth. Let's talk about something important. Okay. Are you all here? All but one. Well, I'm going anyway. Let's talk about something important. Put that coffee down. Yeah, Grandpa. Coffee's for closers only. Listen, shouldn't be thirsty. You think I'm fucking with you? Ooh, oh, expletives. A little toxic masculinity. Mm -hmm. I am not fucking with you. Oh my gosh. I'm here from downtown. Downtown. I'm here from Mitch and Murray. And I'm here on a mission of mercy. Your name's Levine. Yeah. You call yourself a salesman, you son of a bitch. Oh my gosh. I don't gotta listen to this shit. You certainly don't, pal. Because the good news is you're fired. <laughs> he said the good news. The bad news is you've got all you've got just one week to regain your job, starting with tonight. Starting with tonight's sit. Oh, have I got your attention now? Oh my gosh, oh, this is such toxic culture. Good. I hate this guy. Because we're adding a little something to this month's sales contest. As you all know, first prize is a Cadillac Eldorado. Anybody I mean, that is a nice prize, a car. Yeah. There's yeah. also steak knives. Do you see that? Second prize is a set of steak knives. <laughs> see? There they are. Win or go home. <laughs> right? Like, second there's prize. no second third place. Third prize is you're fired. He said third prize is you're fired. Oh. Look at their faces. You get the picture? Are you laughing now? Man, I don't think anyone You've was ever leads. laughing. Mitch and Murray paid good money. Get their names to sell them. You can't close the leads you're given. You can't close shit. You are shit. Hit the bricks, pal, and beat it, because you are going out. The leads are weak. Ooh, this leads sounds like a weak. common conversation. The leads are weak. You are weak. I've been in this business 15 years. What's your name? You. That's my <laughs> name. You know why, mister? Because you drove a Hyundai to get here tonight. I drove an $80,000 BMW. That's my name. Ooh. Well, from like a big picture standpoint, this is like the classic, the pinnacle of everything that I used to still hate about like old school, mm -hmm. old school sales. This is why when I was starting my business, I was scared, you know what list. Mm. Um, I avoided sales for so long because I thought that's what it was. Aww. I thought that I had to be this big macho bravado, yeah. like, like hardcore, didn't care what anybody else said, like, like a like a wrecking ball, right? Yeah, a caricature. Oh, and like there was no way that my sweet little heart could <laughs> do that. I, I couldn't even fake that. Yeah. And I thought, you know, if this is what I'm gonna have to do to to market my services, to to win deals. Mm -hmm then maybe this isn't for me. Oh, that breaks my heart. That's like as someone who loves sales and mm. is passionate about sales and I feel like sales has been a blessing to my life and I want so many to learn and embrace um, the, uh, the occupation. Yeah. This does break my heart because it's a movie, it's entertainment, you know? But Art I do believe- Art imitates life sometimes, right? <laughs> and let's be honest, like this was, when did this movie come out? 1992, right? I'm so glad to say that <laughs> so much of the sales philosophy and the world has moved on from this, yeah. right? And I don't know if it was ever this extreme. Mm -hmm. Like I, I think this is Hollywood and I think this is a bit extreme. And unfortunately, I think because so many people created a narrative, I think this is what 
they've envisioned. Now, I won't say that there aren't toxic work cultures, yes. period. I, I think there have always been organizations or leaders who have created toxic cultures. But I just, I like, as a salesperson, I'm like, I have to defend this is not sales. I think this is hilarious, yeah, yeah. honestly. I think it's hilarious and I think it's entertaining. And I kind of feel his personality a little bit like, <laughs> who the F am I? I'm the one closing deals who you should be listening to. Yeah, like, yeah. what do you need to hear? But I mean, but from an entertainment Hollywood standpoint, yes. I definitely don't think this is a good depiction um, of sales. Um, I'm also laughing because this idea of like, the leads are weak versus you can't close yeah. the leads. like. I love that we are now in a day and age where marketing and sales are aligning yes. as one revenue department because that is, listen, I've heard that debate for mm -hmm. a long time. Yeah, like, the no, competition between those two yeah. centers. Um, what else comes up for me is the is different styles of motivating sales, right? Mm, and yes. this to me is the, the heavy stick, yeah. right? The, what is it, the punitive, Right, I'm gonna yeah, beat demeaning. You. Demeaning. Yeah. I'm gonna. I'm not sure what the word is, but like that aggressive. Yep. I'm gonna insult you. Uh, yeah. I'm gonna scare you into doing whatever you have to do to get a sale. Right. Versus, and, and like for me, like that conflict piece, that heavy, that heavy hitting, um, uh, way of motivating just mm -hmm. absolutely demotivates me. Like, yeah. No, 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 no. Um, and to recognize what I find now consoling is that there are other ways to motivate sales, yeah. right? Like for me, it's around feedback, it's around cheerleading, it's like focusing on what I'm doing good, mm -hmm. and that becomes a driving motivation to pull up other areas that maybe I'm not doing so good. Yeah. Instead of beating a salesperson into submission right. until their spirit is broken and they become a robot in the process. Yeah. And it's not about serving the customer, it's about ramrodding and railroading. Yeah. Um, so for me, it's around a little bit about, you know, different ways to motivate sales and you yeah. know, I'm not sure how well this works long term. <laughs> I don't think it worked, which is why it is no longer. <laughs> I mean, like I think society has spoken <laughs> um, yeah. and this is not the way to go at all. Um, but it's interesting. I mean, it, you, I will say from my experience, I've had definitely some toxic cultures. Yeah. I mean, yeah. I've heard some expletives from leadership before. I've heard mm -hmm. some uh, intimidation Threats. tactics, Threats. right? Intimidation, intimidation tactics insulting. of leadership. Yep. And, um, and in many areas, you know, I've, I've developed thick skin because of it, but it's never, those tactics have never inspired me. No. Right? They've never inspired me to do well. Well, there's inspiration out of fear and survival, mm -hmm. and then there's inspiration out of growth and service right. right and this is motivation out of fear and for survival yeah absolutely not now what i will say if anything what because there are times where certain things can get something out of me mm -hmm. and and that is the i'm going to perform to shut you up like but that is not sustainable no right like like that, i'll show you yeah you tell me that's I not a resentment I, I just mm -hmm. i don't think you breed positive results from negative right. emotions right, right? And so yeah it reminds me of like you're either um motivated out of compliance to do what the heck they yeah. say or you're motivated out of rebellion well, yeah. i'll show you right right kind right of thing and either extreme is not sustainable yeah it's not healthy no. it's not no. healthy at all all right so yay to that being hollywood Ooh. and not today's age <laughs> and if you listen because we have an audience of women entrepreneurs girl that is not what we are teaching no, you no, we no, are no. not doing this this is not sales. this is the antithesis <laughs> right? right this is not it but i think this is what people imagine right it's what i used to think yeah. sales was until i realized there's a whole nother approach a more loving, more humane, more sustainable <laughs> approach. Um, and that's what I love. I yeah. love transforming women's concept of sales and showing them that there is a way we can succeed in sales, being authentic, in service, and of high integrity. 100%. Yeah. That's the mic drop. Well, since we clearly like reacting to satires of sales and business, <laughs> we got one more for you. Click the next video where we will react to Michael Scott in the office where he talks about business fundamentals. Mentals and fun. And fun. It'll make sense when you click the video. <laughs> See you there. <laughs> Bye.